This is a tutorial on using the TX15WX sampler uh, to create a laser using the Reaper DAW and a simple sine wave. You can get a sine wave from www.audiocheck.net. See the address below. Uh, once you have that, what you need to do is uh, load a track with the sampler. There it is. The first thing that will be shown to you is a question. Do we want to route to a bunch of different channels? The answer is no for this application. We don't really need to do that. Next thing we probably should do is put a limiter on this because we will be messing with a, uh, a loud sound perhaps. I'll choose simply the hard limiter comes with Reaper, something like that. Next thing we do is load the sine wave into the sampler. I'm going to put it on the C2 key. You can obviously put it wherever you want. This is the sound it makes. Now to start making a laser sound out of that, let's make a envelope on the raw pitch. right click on there get it okay you can see it's listed right here now now if we start the pitch at the lowest possible point we can already see get a funny noise if we move up so now we have an attack from the lowest to the highest it already sounds like a laser doesn't it and we can move that back and forth a little bit. Now here's the decay. Too much. Here is the release. There, that's pretty good. Now, there's a little bit of a pop right at the beginning. That's because the attack is so steep. Let's lessen the volume attack to get rid of that a little bit. That's pretty good. You can make it lower if you want. No pop at all now. If you're hearing a pop, sometimes you'll hear a pop at the end, depending on your release. You can move the release on the volume a little bit. Okay. That really is your basic laser. You can play that with MIDI with a keyboard if you although it can be better let's add uh, a reverb reverb we put a simple one right here what's that sound like
you you also notice that may add a pop so you can may have to adjust your release and your attack next thing we can do if you want to add some, some interest to it perhaps is to put an lfo on it we can put an lfo here this is the lfo let's see what happens when not much difference is there let's do that we can lower its amplitude a little bit you can make all kind of nice things there if you want to you could actually make this into a saw for instance get a little bit more interest in there Now, I like to shift the played notes down a little bit by dragging on the shift here. kind of things like that actually let's get rid of the LFO for now so basically that's your laser and you could add other effects to it to change this you can also change the sine wave to other waves that you could download or create from your synthesizer and see what you can get from that now one other possible experiment is to change this to a playable instrument with more than one note like we can move this to two as you can see here it's three uh, octaves wide and we can change the scale from fixed to normal what happens when we do that Kind of interesting. Another thing that could be done is to add uh, an arpeggiator, a MIDI arpeggiator. Now, there's a simple one, comes with Reaper, called a MIDI arpeggiator. We stick it right in there. Let's see what happens. something like that then what we want to do perhaps is I already created a MIDI here that as you can see is just the rising and falling uh, notes let's see what happens when we play that you can do all kind of things with it the final thing, of course, if you're satisfied with it, is to save the whole track as a uh, template so that you can use it in any of your uh, creations. So you just right click on the track, save as template, call it, uh, I'll call it Laser Toot, and save it. That's all there is to it. And if you like this, please click like. You can check out my uh, music that's on this same channel on YouTube. Thank you. And that's all there is to it. Thanks. Have a good day.